Hello everybody, welcome back. I hope everybody had a very nice Christmas. Bella and I took a little bit of a break. I am late getting this video uploaded or edited and uploaded. Uh, it's I'm a little bit behind on this one and maybe one more, but we're gonna get these, uh, get moving again. We'll get these up and get back to nearly real time videos like we norm usually do. Um, so we're gonna get on with this video. Where are you going? Where, which way do you want to go today? Huh? Which way? Which? <laughs> which way you want to go today? This way? Okay, easy, easy. This way. <laughs> huh? All right. We're out taking Bella for a little walk this morning. Oh, easy. Slow down there, girl. We gotta keep an eye on where we're going. This morning we're camping on some BLM land on uh, just off of Darby Road, which is south of Ajo, Arizona. And it's one of the um, really cooler small towns I've been through in a while. We're, we're going to go back into town today. We came down through the other day and just took a quick peek. I didn't record anything. Uh, I had some things on my mind and just wasn't into recording. So we came down here and pondered a while. <laughs> and I'll leave it at that for the moment. But we are near the Oregon Pike Cactus National Monument. We might take a ride down through there. Uh, oh, there's actually one way out there in the distance. That's how close we are. They only grow in this, uh, this particular area of Arizona. We'll have to, we'll have to go have a, a look, see if we can find some more of those. But the Sororo cactus, hang on, ready for this. Look at the size of that thing. <laughs> that has to be over 30 foot tall. Easy. But th that's one of the nicer, pristine ones. I think, yeah, some of them are damaged, just natural occurrences and, or wildlife is pecked and poked at them a few times too many or for whatever reason. You know, there's certainly some damaged ones out here, but sometimes you see just a really, really nice one. That's one of those. Bella's out here taking care of a few things this morning. Just like the, uh, the burrows. Burrows been taking care of some things too. We seen two burrow uh, earlier this morning, making their way out across there. And there were some coyotes pretty close to camp this morning. It was still too dark, but not to see them, but they were, they were yapping pretty close. Uh, we we're camped near an area that the border patrol actually has a couple of warning signs just up the road here. And uh, there's more camping beyond that, but uh, the border, Border Patrol, I thought it would be a, offer a courtesy just to let people know that there could be potential danger in the area, I guess. But we're over there, there's the bounder hiding behind that bush, and there's a Class C over there to the right, and a couple Class A's back here. Oh, and before I forget, um, Thanks everybody to all the kind birthday wishes. I do appreciate that. We spent our we sp we spent my birthday out here, just Bella and I, and I spent some time kind of reflecting on, you know, my life on the road so far, and you know we've been to a lot of places, an awful lot of places, and I've managed to get the. Uh, the bounder in a lot of places uh maybe a few of them i shouldn't shouldn't have but we made it anyway i think i've only gotten the bounder stuck one time in the sand 
So we have a pretty good track record of that. Haven't damaged anything yet, but we've had some close calls. And there were some there were some places, there were definitely some places that we didn't go because the bond was just so big and and long and and I've run into some more of those lately and, and it's it's frustrating places I kind of do some research on and then you know whether it's a ghost town or you know you know the kind of stuff I like to go see and just the road is just too you know, then after looking at the road and other comments if I find uh, reviews on certain areas the uh, type of vehicles that can go there studying aerial maps and other methods have just decided not to go take the bounder in many places there's been a lot of places we just haven't gone because of the size of Betty and it's been getting more and more frustrating lately I don't know what more do I say about that does that explain why I'm RV shopping I'm kind of tired of the not just tired exhausted some of the places that we've we've passed up I, I just I'm tired of having to do that I, I really am especially after traveling not every place you can do very much research on and you just kind of roll the dice and you get there and find out you just can't do it and uh, you know the time and gas spent to go explore somewhere and it's just a no-go uh, I know some of you might say well you know let's set up camp somewhere better and take the motorcycle or the e-bike you know that's just not always practical for the distance I'd have to go the time to leave uh, you know where to camp at uh, how long I'm gonna be gone leaving the bounder and uh, unattended in Bella and it's just not always real practical to do that so now you know if you've been with the channel for a while you know when I bought the bounder it's not exactly what I was looking for but I needed something and the price was right I thought okay I'll try the class A lifestyle for a while surely there's gonna be plenty of places we can go and we have I mean, I knew there would be places I couldn't go, and we haven't. <laughs> so, now, after two over two years of owning the Bounder, I'm done. Uh, I've had it. I came into Ajo, and, you know, it's such a cool little town, and one of the first things I spotted was, uh, you know, some old buildings and stuff that were just uh, kind of like Route 66 type of stuff. You know, things from yesteryear. <laughs> and they were back this one road in town, the town is is laid out is such that you know, there's a lot of dips and you know in the uh, in the streets and uh, you know just something that simple. I'm like, oh, I can't go down that street in the Bounder, and I can't go down. You know, I just wanted to swing around the block and check something out. Uh, yeah, I guess I could have just parked it and walked and walked, but it's a pretty big town and. It'd be nice if something smaller I could just drive around, you know, and jump out here and there, different anyway, places. We're gonna uh, take a little ride out of here. There's a there's a warning sign, and then we need to go into Aho and take care. Of, I need to stop at the post office and mail some very overdue stickers. Well, I two of them are pretty overdue. I apologize; they'll be there soon. And I. Th I think there's a, a lot of murals in Aho, so I want to check those out too. So we're going to get going. Okay. Ready, 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 ready. Yep, there's been burrows here. Bounders all warmed up. Gonna get out of here. Now this is supposed to be part of the scenic loop. 
as soon as we get out here on the road here. I don't know. I don't know if big RVs can go the whole way around or not. I, I don't know. I'm thinking they can, but one one fellow up here, I did, we, went, we went for a walk and we got to talking and he said that there's a big wash you have to go through, which it might not be that big of a deal. We've been, there's lots of roads that cut through washes. That's, yeah, he was warned by somebody else and well, what's a big deal to some people isn't necessarily a big deal to someone else. So we're gonna take a chance and go head on out this way. Maybe we can get the whole way around the loop. Now, some of this area to the right is marked off. It belongs to uh, a big copper mine that is here in uh, Ajo. And so that's all private, uh, private property, no trespassing. Okay, here's the sign up here that <laughs> it's a travel caution. Uh, travel caution. Smuggling and illegal immigration may be encountered in this area. But there's supposed to be some uh, more camping up here. So, <laughs> so, I don't know. That's just to let you know that uh, that stuff may be encountered. Here's one wash. Not a big deal. this thing around now because I have missed a turn and this goes south like straight towards Mexico so that little warning sign back there may become more more and more relevant if you keep going this way and this road is it's wide but I don't know uh, yeah we're not gonna be able to turn around here. And I, I haven't seen any more pull-offs in a while to where there's a little one. Maybe we can do that. We don't need to be going towards Mexico in an area that is <laughs> marked uh, traveler's warning. Smuggling and illegal immigration may be encountered. So let's go back from where we came. Road next four and a half miles. 
Should we do it? I think this is the way I was supposed to go. Uh, I don't know. We'll probably be alright. I thought we'd stop here a minute because I don't know if we're going to make it to the Oregon Pipe National Monument because of these types of roads. And there are a couple... Oh, did I lose track of it? There it is. There's one right there. That's an Oregon Pipe Cactus. And there's another one up behind it. Oops, oh. Yeah, I'm a little shaky with the camcorder. Sorry about that. Let me back it out here. There's a couple others around. But they're more concentrated down uh, a little bit south of here. So I wanted to... What did I want to do? <laughs> um, I think that national park is one of those... Um, you know, there are some national parks that... Just the way they're kind of back in some rugged territory... That... Uh, some of them don't allow vehicles uh, over 30 foot in length. And I think Oregon... I, I did see a video uh, some friends did. I think a, a, I think Marge and Jeff did one. And I believe there was a sign uh, that said, yeah, no vehicles over 30 feet, if, if I, my, my memory serves me uh, correctly. So... I'm probably not going to go out of the way and travel down to where it is you turn off and and go back in some of this rugged terrain in a 34 foot bounder. Oh, and that, those, uh, that's the uh, tailings from the copper mine. They go all around the, uh, well, town is on the other side of those somewhere. Somewhere over in there is town somewhere so we're taking a loop I think around this all these can I zoom back out please somewhere yeah I think the loop goes out around that last bit there and then we go back in towns over in there let's see and there's Isabella there is Isabella not Isabella there is a Bella <laughs> It just says, do not enter when flooded. Oh no. I don't know that, I don't know that we can go this way. That sign up there uh, worries me. Too bad. You know, the other thing is there's, you know, I know there's a, a route I, I can think of in Tennessee that I wanted to go and, you know, the interstate was bad enough that there was a much shorter way and a more scenic way, a much more scenic way on the, well, the one highway. Uh, I mean, it's just a two lane highway, you know, one lane each way. and. There's a lot of switchbacks going up the mountain and down the other side. Another one, another highway um, coming down from Flagstaff to Sedona. I'm told that and you can see it on the map if you zoom in. Um, instead of taking Interstate 17 South, there's I think it's Highway I think it's 89 or uh, I'm not sure about that. But, uh, yeah. This, a vehicle this big is just not cut out for the sort of traveling I like to do. This might be good enough. Uh, I don't feel the need after all this. I really don't feel the need to 
have to go through the uh, Oregon Pike National Monument. I'm seeing plenty through here. Kind of nice. And this is the scenic loop uh, around Aho, uh, around the copper mine. So this might be good enough. Another one, do not enter when flooded. Oh no. We might get through here without dragging. Oh no, we, we drunk pretty bad there. Yeah, we better be almost, come on, we, uh, we better be almost out of here. Again, I'm gonna have to check the. Uh, I'll have to stop here and check the motorcycle rack and everything back there. That it's okay. See, behind the scenes, you know, this is what I'm faced with. I really don't. Uh, I never mentioned. Look at that black top road. We've done it. We've done it. <laughs> yeah, um, what a thing. That's, uh, there. I've shared my frustration with you about wanting to be out exploring in a mammoth class A. We did make it into town. I need to stop at the post office. And this town has murals all over the place. Um, this is Ajo Copper News, must be the local newspaper building, but the entire front is all muraled. There's a bunch of other stuff around too. Oops, okay. Uh, We'll have to turn around on this street. It's a good thing it's a wide street because clearance is 11 foot and the bounder is 11 foot 8 inches. We cannot go, <laughs> do not go forward. Well, the post, the post office is right up here. So I'll just walk the rest of the way and we'll have to turn around. So we have 11 foot clearance up here. The bounder is 10 8. But then there's the bounder itself would make it, but the air conditioners and roof vents, solar panels, they just clean them off the top. So this is the town center. Pretty awesome. Hang on, I need to go over this way to the post office and take care of these uh, these stickers. Yes, uh, there's like two of them that are pretty late. I apologize for that. And I had a little coffee incident, so if yours has a couple of coffee stains on it, I apologize for that too. Just on the envelope, not the sticker. <laughs> there's a pretty nice rod. Nice. And one of those envelopes went to New Zealand, or is supposed to go, make it to New Zealand. I, I hope it makes it. Uh, yeah, so the, the uh, town center here has uh, little shops, 
a little coffee shop over here and I don't know what's all around but there's a really impressive old uh, church up here I think you can definitely tell that it has some south of the border influence it is really nice and with the palms all around it that is pretty cool and some other church over here I don't know what denominations they are but two churches here in, in the town center there's an alley up here I think is called artist alley that has a uh, more murals in it oh the first one was the Immaculate Conception Church uh, that's the Curly School and the Aho Federated Church is this one over here Nice to see some green grass. I should have put Bella on her leash. Dang it. I still might go back for her. Um, Burrow come into town here. There's evidence of that in the lawn. All right, I think I need to cross the street. Let's do that down this way. Oh, they have a nice Christmas tree put up there in the middle. And over here to the right, there's a real estate office, some kind of contractor, a library, and a, a market of some sort. Oh, and all the way straight up ahead in the center there is the visitor center. We'll go across this way. A little taco shop there. I love taco shops, but I'm not ready for to eat right now. Okay, we're back in this corner now. The bounder is down the road down there in the post office and the coffee shop. We crossed the street and we came down past the taco shop. There's a little art gallery here, but straight ahead, the artist's alley. Uh, see how good is this gonna be let's go over this side the sunny side um people flying and fa or falling swirling around huh. let's see let's look over here back here on the shade inside We've got a rocket ship and um, I don't know some kind of I think they have some kind of street um, a street art festival here this looks like something that you almost need to stand back from a little bit to make out what all's going on here uh, this is pretty cool and very vivid colors huh that's you know pretty well done eh Hey. <laughs> There's the, the Freedom Bus. I think this is the back side of the library. So there's uh, books going up into the window. All right, well, I'm getting to the point now where I need to start thinking about where my battery level is with the camera. I might have to get back to the RV and swap one out. Oh, and right around the corner here is flying eyeballs. This is a Aho Street 
project art. Wow, and there's a big one. Oh, it continues over here. And look, there's a huge one on that building. Wow. Yeah, I've never seen uh, so many murals in one in a small area like this. And there's a butterfly down on the corner of this building, or a moth of some sort. Let's see, it's around the corner. Okay, we're gonna go down the home, home stretch here. The other day when I come in town and I was really kind of stressed out about you know just being tired of that big old RV and seeing some of the streets I wanted to go down to was as bad as some of them dips in the dang desert or out on that and I just happened to come into town and I, I pulled in here and dumb luck it says bus and RV parking no camping or overnight parking okay it's for bus and RVs but if you come down the street to park here you know <laughs> it's a good thing it's really wide down here because you got to turn around this is where the bus and rv parking is clearance 10 foot 10 inches on this end what the other end was 11 foot it was just kind of ironic that you know just one of, them, one of them days it was uh really getting to me and <laughs> i was just done i'm just done with the bounder I'm tired of having to be so careful and watch where I go and all that stuff. I'm tired of it. And I pulled in here and I see that 10 foot 10. I'm like, are you kidding me? Yeah, these tracks haven't been used in a while. Or <laughs> you wouldn't have all this growth. Right? Rusty as could be. Trees growing. These have been out of commission for quite some time. Well, I think we've had enough for today. We're done camping. We've come to take care of things in town. I guess just the post office. But uh, we're gonna head down the road. We're gonna continue east towards Tucson. But we gotta go through the little town of Y. I don't know if there's much there, much there to see, except maybe a gas station. But Bella and I are gonna get on the road. On out of here. So, it's been an interesting, area to stop <laughs> so I guess that leaves the thanks for coming along today and as always like comment share and subscribe if you haven't already <laughs> and uh, we'll be back soon I'll see you mm -hmm.